Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Punzo and if you're new here, welcome. Perfect. So today's topic is going to be like this little I guess you can call it like a corona rant or something just gonna be me talking about the the coronavirus the lockdown and everything that's been happening right so um so to start off I had a little bit of like a, a coronavirus scare where I actually thought I think for like what about a week ago I thought I had the COVID then God came back negative so i just thought um weren't really there symptoms or something was wrong with me and then my doctor had me test for covid gladly he came back as negative so that was great because i was afraid that okay oh my god did i give it to my mom or something like that or like, whatever but um but it actually came back negative which it, which i was just happy about so that's basically my covid scare that happened but negative and we good that test was awful and for some reason because i thought it was gonna be better i chose the nasal one and apparently the throat one is much better than the nasal one i said the experience or whatever but yeah i don't want to ever go through that ever again if you've been on social media on most of these platforms right and you're going online i mean i don't think it's just it's not just in south africa but i think um because i follow like um like i think i follow uh, South African, Nigerian, and like some other African countries, and also like and and outside of South Africa, of course, like uh people like I follow them on social media, um, also particularly like on Instagram because that's where like if I'm like looking at pictures and part like if there's parties or pictures or whatever, like you're gonna find it there. Um, so anyway, so what I'm trying to say is. I saw all of these things, right? And then I'm like, actually, I'm on those platforms and like creators that I actually, actually like. And then like, I'm looking at them, I'm like, these people are proper going to parties, the ne unnecessary parties, right? And when they get there, okay, fine, you're, you're at a party, fine. But there's no one wearing a mask or the only people wearing a mask was usually for like events like weddings or birthday parties or things of that nature right and you only have the servers right who have no option but to be there because they need a job being there wearing the masks and then the people who are there to party like the guests and everything and the people who are, who are hosting are not wearing the mask they're not wearing any masks or anything of that nature and the party you can see it's more than it's more than 50 to 100 people in that enclosed venue people are dancing sweating or so breathing and everything in the air and like not everybody's tested there like you cannot you cannot lie and say everybody was tested there right and then um you're doing all of that in the middle of a bloody pandemic, right? Because there's this thing where I, like, you keep hearing of, um, what is it, corona uh, fatigue or something of the kind, right? COVID fatigue or whatever. But in all honesty, right, you might be tired of the COVID, but it is most certainly not tired of you yet and it is not gone. It is still here. And when I see things like that, where I'm like seeing YouTubers or I'm seeing celebrities or I'm seeing all of these people and even the normal average person um, having parties without wearing masks. Because like for me, it's like, okay, fine, you cannot control people, right? People are going to have parties, they're going to do all of those things, they're going to get togethers, right? But I mean, you can at least, if you're doing that, wear a bloody mask. And then you'll see some people wearing a face shield, you'll be sitting there like, dude, eat. You need to wear a face shield with a mask, not one. You, you don't wear just the face shield. You can wear just the mask, but you can't wear just the face shield. Like, what are you do? What are you, what do you think you're doing that time, right? And another thing that was just annoying me, right, was just when you're seeing, like, people, like, hosting weddings as if, like, weddings or birthday parties are that important. Like, are you kidding me? Are you actually, actually kidding me? You can, you can postpone that stuff. Or you can get married in a smaller group. Like, it is not that deep. It is not that important. It, like, seriously, you, you realize you have people putting other people at risk for just a day. A day of an event. Like, it's your birthday. And <laughs> maybe for today, maybe for the pandemic this time, maybe just maybe celebrate on your own. Or if you're celebrating, celebrate with just your family. 
maybe don't risk other people going there because idiots are out here not wearing bloody hell masks and then just going to gatherings and then the worst part of it all is right imagine this right your family member goes out goes into one of these parties and then you've been following guidelines you've been wearing your mask you've been sanitizing you've been cleaning you've been doing all of those things and you'll be making sure that you you are, you are like social distancing and you're doing all of those things and then one of your family members decide that they're gonna go to a party go have some fun go do all of those things like necessary things for like i literally think are necessary then come back home that time they were not wearing a mask they were not in a place where people were wearing a mask or nothing and then they come back home and then you find out that you tested positive because this idiot went to a party that was not necessary just imagine imagine you going to a party and you ending up taking the life of a family member because because you just had to go to a party because you just had to attend that wedding or you just had to have that wedding and are you kidding you can postpone these things you can go for a signing you can literally it's just yeah you know, is it really worth it though like is it, when i look at it i'm just sitting there going like this pandemic is not gonna it's gonna take so long to finish because of how stupid we are like of the I feel like the pandemic exposed our stupidity, the level of our stupidity. It literally exposed that. Because, like, what is this? You're telling me you cannot just postpone. It's a, it's just a wedding move, right? I mean, if you were going to have a wedding in December, that means in March, you, 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 we were going into lockdowns and all of that. And March, depending on what country you're coming from, it is, it's different dates. But, like, you knew that that was probably not going to be possible yet you still planned it when i had to pay people and then risk people's lives i'm just like how more selfish can a human being be and where is common sense exactly i feel like even here in south africa the numbers are going up and i think we might be going towards our second wave we'll find out later i think I think today there's gonna be the president is gonna be um is, is gonna be talking to the public, but I think we might be on our way to another to a second wave because the way we've been and then we're going into the holidays like the the Christmas holidays and New Year's and all of that and I mean I'm not gonna lie yo here this side the recklessness. Like when you see people, a crowd of people, no mask on. The only time that they're wearing the mask is because like places like malls and shops and all of those places are like forcing people to wear masks. But social distancing, uh, it is not even being observed. People are like proper just, you know. I'm not saying that I am perfect or I'm do I'm whatever I'm doing I'm doing correctly or whatever, but. The least I can do is not pass the virus. If I ever contact contract contract it, is not pass the virus to someone else. Like if you feel a little bit sick, cough, whatever, stay at home. Cause I remember I went to a funeral and then some person is coughing, proper coughing, and I'm just like, why did you come? You did not need. You could have sent a message. It would have been understandable. Why are you here? Clearly you're sick. Why are you here? Stay at home. Like it's it's like it was unnecessary. You just unnecessarily putting other people at risk. Just stay at home. Quarantine. You know? I just it just I think it, it I think it's a lot. I think I don't know. I it just it just saddens me. Like I've unfollowed people because of it. I've stopped watching YouTubers when they're going out in public and they're not wearing masks and I'm like, I'm not gonna watch this. Like if you're not gonna be a responsible citizen, I'm not gonna watch this. If you're not gonna be if you're gonna because this I feel like it's showing off a lot of how selfish people can be and how we are just not people that are good are care for like who actually care for each other because listen if this thing only killed you who was being stupid i would not have a problem with that i would let you be stupid because it's not gonna affect me but this thing the problem with it is you get it and then with me not knowing anything you come to me or we stay in the same area most usually when we stay in the same place and you give the damn virus to me and now i have to suffer the consequences 
And I'm just like, and by the way, you would think this is just people, like people who don't know about the virus, but you also have doctors, like when you're going into the doctor's office and the doctor's not wearing a mask and you're just like, but you're like a doctor, shouldn't you at least be the one person wearing a mask? Shouldn't you be the one person actually, like, what, what are we doing? Why are you not wearing one? Why is the why is your mask on your chin? People, your chin is not your mouth nor your nose. That is not where particles are going to be coming from. Can you just, you know when things just, you know when things just don't make sense and then you just like, you are proper just like, you're over people, you're over human beings, you just, no man, like, no man, like, seriously, like, but all I'm just gonna say is, can you, can you keep social distancing, if you feel sick, if you can take days off, take the days off, get, get tested, I know testing is expensive, I don't know why, it's not, it's not free, so it's expensive as hell, to get them things tested, so, I mean, you know um but yeah but basically i guess it's just it's just it's been in my head for a long while now where i just just i get disappointed more and more when i see people in the public eye because like imagine right because you're basically influencing someone and i'm not saying all of the followers are going to do it but imagine somebody who 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 is not sure about the whole pandemic thing or what to do and then they look at you going to parties and then you're not wearing a mask or people at that event are also not wearing masks and then you just you, people are just jay you're just living your best life at the wrong time and you are like so somebody goes like oh so i can i can go to parties don't and not wear a mask that's fine that's not a problem this is no this is okay and i'm just sitting there going like it wouldn't hurt you to just wear the leg mask. Just wear it. Another face shield. A mask. Just protect the rest of us, even if you don't care about the rest of us. And I'm just like, it's just... <laughs> you know what's even sad is the fact that people who have pre-existing conditions that are at risk of getting this thing, like, it just it just saddens me a lot when I see things like that where it's like okay you definitely do not care about other people at all you definitely could care less but anyway guys this was just a little rant for me and I just wanted to just say a few words and yeah so anyway uh, what has been your experience with COVID? What have you seen out there? How many parties have you actually witnessed? Have you gone to a party yourself? Like, uh, well, how, what's happening? How are you? <laughs> so, so that's it, guys. Thank you for watching, and until next time, bye.